Hello everybody, welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today I am going to be going through my Pure Fiction Difficulty 4 team and show you just how I was able to just barely, but get the W, get the W. Uh, this, the, the first part is the part I had the most trouble on, as you can see, the Node 2 is the part that I uh, perfected, uh, and the reason why I perfected it was because I had my, my trusty little Acheron here. So what I went was Acheron, Pela, uh, Ruan May, and uh, Fushuan. And Fushuan has the Topaz Light Cone, where anytime she's attacked, she inflicts the burn debuff on them. On top of that, whenever you're going Acheron in this mode, what you want to do is you want to use Sympathetic Detonation. That way, when the enemy targets use their abilities, and inflicts one stack of Scalded on them in adjacent units. So, whenever they, any anytime they take a turn, basically, they are inflicting a debuff on themselves, which is giving Acheron a stack every time. And then they attack, and Fu Xuan puts a burn on them, and then they get another stack. Fu Xuan is going, sorry, uh, Acheron is going to be using quite a few ultimates. Now, for the next one, for the next team that I did, I went Jing Liu, Clara, just to cover the weaknesses, basically. And then I went Sparkle, so that they, you know, they can continue always using their skills. And then I went Luocha, because he's easy on the skills, and obviously I need a sustainer here. Um, I went Inducement, because when an ally uses a skill to attack enemy targets, there's an 80% fixed chance to inflict Shatter to the target. And that is obviously pretty good because uh, Splash is not great because after characters use an ultimate to attack, their action is advanced forward. Now, in this comp, neither Clara or uh, Sparkle has an attack based ultimate. Um, and also, it wouldn't really matter having, you know, 100% more damage for one turn uh, for Luocha because he would just use his auto attack and then that wouldn't be great. It would literally only be good for Jing Liu, and while it would be nice on Jing Liu, the, the skill thing is still probably just, I mean, it's just better, because her and uh, Clara will be using their skills pretty much any time it's their turn. So, with all that being said, let's enter, and let's show you guys how I did it. Okay. Uh, I'm realizing that I don't have sound on right now for whatever reason it's just not okay there's no way i can do sound in uh pure fiction i guess i'm gonna have to put in all those again okay we're good all right let's go it's gonna be a lot of fun you guys are gonna see some pretty large numbers um not not particularly out of this team this is the team that kind of struggles but you'll see it. Alright. And also, by the way, I would just like to mention that I did this completely auto. This was this was auto. So we are just going to basically be watching and I'm gonna comment on basically what my what my team is doing and how I made it work. So as you can see, Jing Liu, you know, just she just put shatter on a bunch of people. Now she uses her alt. Um her skill is AoE, she's going to be using it quite often and Clara is an amazing character because she is going to be you know getting attacked she's gonna hit back 49,000 damage oh hit back 60,000 damage she's an absolute beast oh hit back 5k not that great um yeah I'm pretty sure it's probably actually much better if uh if Jing Liu were to get sparkles uh buff and uh, yeah, Sparkle were to use a skill on Jing Liu instead. It would probably be better, but as long as I can beat it, I can beat it, right? So right now we're at 10,000 damage, about 11k damage. We still ha are on the third round. We've still got, you know, the rest of this round and then two more to go. We are rocking. Okay, we have seven skill points. It's going to be no issue for us at all uh, getting, this, getting this completed. So yeah, I mean, let's just... Let's just keep kind of watching. Obviously the dogs are also really nice whenever they put debuffs on characters. Akron gets one. Um, not that Akron is in this team. Uh, Akron gets a stack though whenever you kill the dogs and they spread debuffs to the uh, 
others. There's also like other mobs that do that as well, which is pretty nice. McQueen. Alright, so we should be able to do this last uh, 3k damage within this round because our second team is going to have not much issue at all clearing uh, the next stage. Wait, are we actually going to fail this? Okay, I'm getting worried. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. That, that's... We're good. We're good. We're safe. I, I honestly got a little worried there, but it's okay. We should be able to complete this. I like to start the battle with Akron instead of Pela. I think starting the battle with Akron is just obvious. Um, there's 59,000 damage just from entering the battle. Thank you, Ruan Mei. And she's just gonna do her thing. She has all three stacks of her, uh, of her, like, overload damage as well. She's about to absolutely... Whammer Slammer, 300k, easy wipe on that whole group. Uh, she already has three stacks as well to move on. So we are loving that. She's going to get these stacks very fast. Very fast. And there's the defense reduction. It's all looking up for us here. Alright. All right, all right. Ooh, 319,000 damage. It's just too easy, guys. It's just too easy. I really, really love this character, this Akron uh, character. It, it, she is an amazing character. We just started our third turn, by the way. We just started our third turn. We are definitely going to be able to take care of this. Uh, quite easy. Here's gonna go all of these mobs. Ooh, only... Oh man, that was a little low. 565,000 damage. Huh. I really need to step it up for maybe like the next few turns, right? This, this character is incredible. And yes, I am utilizing the fact that I have E2 on her right now. Uh, because she only has one ability character in Pela on the team with her. Uh, and she's still getting the full passive of like, you know, the, the full benefit of that trace but I mean okay 604,000 there we go that's that's pretty nice all right and now we should be able to beat this pretty easily we have two full rounds to get our last 20k points and defeat the bosses here it's going to be no issue for us at all especially with Pela putting the defense reduction on all of them right before she goes uh, yeah, this is about to be insane damage. 763,000 damage. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, what an amazing character. I am very, very, very satisfied with all the investment that I put into Akron. Um, ooh, Pele got hit. That's, that's not, that's going to be a little unfortunate. And as you can see, every time they're going, they're inflicting debuffs on themselves because they have, uh, because I put that, that debuff on the, like, whenever you can pick the three, the three buffs that you get for your run. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I'm a bad explainer, but you know what I'm talking about. 770 something thousand. We are going to get this ability off at least one more time for sure. And that is what's going to put the nail in the coffin here. So I am not worried at all. I know our Pela is still frozen up, but yep, there we go. Boom, 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 and finishes her off just like that. There is the 60k points. We claim this W right here. Good job, Pela. Finishing it off. And that is how we... That's actually a new record. I didn't know I actually did a little better on the first node than I did uh, earlier. Um, Yeah. So that was how I beat Pure Fiction. Um, that was the fourth round. That was the hardest one. Um, I also, you know, barely skimmed by on number three. 
but that's just because I I just didn't have now this is the team that I did this is not the team that I used by the way I'd like it to be known let's go through this again and see what I think I could have changed we only really need one change and that's the uh the herd okay we got the skill okay we're gonna go the same exact strategy in this one as we did in the other one okay yeah and we're gonna see if we can do a little better because I think I did this before I e would my Akron. I think I actually three started this before I three two her. Uh I e would her. So this is I I did E0 last time. So let's go through number three and we're gonna see how I did that too. Even though yes, I did number four. It's it's obviously the harder one. We obviously know that like, you know, I did it. I succeeded. Mission success. Uh W plus Riz. Um but now let's let's go through. It looks like we're similarly to the other rounds, going to have a little bit of trouble with the round that isn't decided by Acheron. Um, so we're gonna have a little little bit of a harder time on this first half. As per usual, things are going to take a lot longer because the moment Acheron uses her alt, everything on the screen dies and we just go next. We just go next round or next wave. But that is not how you know, it usually works for my for my first team, my upper team. I don't feel like I have great characters for this round. Um, but I mean we're gonna make it work for sure. This round like this isn't really based off of follow-up attacks or anything like that. This is more based off of debuffs, so definitely, you know, they knew what they were doing. They made this based off of Akron coming out. They knew what they were doing for sure. Yeah, okay, we just started our third turn. It might not be as bad as I originally thought. So, we're, we'll see. Ooh, oof. I am honestly excited to see if I can break my record, but I think... I think, yeah, I, I should be able to perfect the second round, for sure. I, I don't... I don't know how there's any way my Akron is going to lose, right? There's no way. There's no way it loses. So, there's no way she loses. Okay, big. Right, so we're already at the 20k. It looks like we're definitely going to have a larger score this time. I don't know if I perfected the second round before whenever before I got my E2 Acheron. I don't know. But it looks like we're doing not bad on this on this run. We don't have to beat it. You know, this beating it is not expected at all. On this first you know, on the first half of this. I don't know how I would ever imagine to do that. Yeah, that's nice. Good, do we have- yeah, more- okay, enemies are about to go, so... Honestly, we're kind of smurfing a little bit, but... yeah. When the monkeys are covering up their weaknesses... It's just really hard to find an opening. It's just not going to be found here. Okay. She brought up Himiko in the turn order, but Himiko still goes after the turn order hits zero. Okay. Alright, so uh, Akron's about to show everybody how it goes. Is what it is. She's about to smurf. She's about to go crazy. Ooh, 103,000. We're already done with the first wave, basically. Oh, yeah. I weep for the departed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at them. Every time they go, they put vulnerability on themselves and debuff themselves. Now Pela's gonna go, and she's going to ult again. Ekron, one more stack. One more stack, Ekron. There we go. There it is. 
I don't think it, exactly I, I needed it for three mobs, but whatever clears it the fastest. Oh yeah, I love it when the enemies start, you know, taking their turns. I actually appreciate it. So I would, fun fact, I was running Welt with, uh, I was running Akron and Welt instead of Akron and Pela on these teams as well. And Welt was slowing them down and giving them less turns. So that actually ca was counterproductive towards what I was trying to do, where every time the enemies go, they place these debuffs on themselves, these vulnerability debuffs on themselves. They actually were placing less debuffs on themselves and acquiring less debuffs because Welt was slowing their turn order and not letting them take turns. So be careful. Be careful. If you are having this exact problem, be wary, okay? Because depending on the enemies you're going up against, Welt might actually be counterproductive to your Acheron getting uh, the most stacks possible. Now this is probably more obvious, uh, more uh, more applicable towards me because I have the E2, so I don't need the second Nihility. If you have a Pela and a Welt and you, you need Pela and Welt to have the two Nihilities, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, and that's just the way it is. But, you know, just, just be careful, be wary about things like that. Uh, if you are encountering any issues uh, like that, so. Oh yeah, oh here we go. Alright, we're still on the second turn. So we still have the rest of this turn and then a whole other one. Uh, there's about to be a lot of enemy turns. They're probably going to make Akron alt. Okay, very, very close. There we go. Now Akron's gonna alt. Ooh, but Pela's gonna go first and give her an additional stack. Of her trace. Oh my god, 714,000 damage. Oh my god, light work. Light work, no reaction. No, it's very obvious that um, we barely made the 60k mark, and now this is happening. So, uh, you yeah, know, it looks like we're going to finish this off. Yeah. Uh, hey, what, what, can, what am I going to say? I mean... I, I think we should end this? Like, we should perfect this? Is it not going to happen? I would be kind of a... Uh, oh, I don't think we're actually going to get it. I don't think she's going to kill them. Or she's not going to get her all. Oh, wait, yes. <laughs> there we go. Wow, look at that. We actually did 40k it. Okay, I forgot about the shatter. Shatter was on one and it blew up the other. Oh, yes. Awesome. There we go. Look at that. So, there we go. That was my experience with Pure Fiction. That is how I did it. Uh, this was the run. It wasn't perfect, uh, but, you know, three, 12 out of 12 stars is pretty enough for me. It's perfect enough for me, for sure. Um, what I am having a little bit of trouble with is getting the final star on the last... That was my Alexa. Uh, I programmed her to say that. Uh, just, you know, hey, it is what it is. Yeah. Gotta have some, uh, someone to tell me it's gonna be okay. Um, actually, I don't even know if it came through the mic. That'd be, uh, sounds like I'm talking to myself. Um, I am actually missing the final star on Memory of Chaos, on, on this specific Memory of Chaos. So, I might have to make a video on that. I, I for sure might have to make a video on that. I think I will make a video on whether I can, like, you know, finish Memory of Chaos or not. And what is prompting me to be missing this final star on it? Um, how do I, like, get to it? Okay, it should be, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we're 35 out of 36 stars on the Eye of Wanton Feast. Uh, so I'm probably going to make a video on that. Uh, but it's not going to be in this video. 
Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Uh, hit me with a subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to be, you know, notified whenever more uh, videos are being uploaded. Tomorrow, if you're watching this on the day that it comes out, tomorrow is going to be my patch 2.1 character, uh, updated character tier list. And that includes Acker, uh, adventuring because I believe we have seen plenty. We have seen all that we need to see. We know where this character is going to go. I'm very confident where this character is going to go. And if I am wrong, I don't think I will be far off, but we can always change it in patch 2.2 because that's how it is. You know, we add the characters for the patch to the tier list. And sometimes we jump the gun, sometimes we overestimate, sometimes we underestimate, but that's every tier list, that's every guide maker, that's, that's, that is what it is. So, yeah. Peace, I'll see you in the next video.